I'm Sarah, the US Podcast Ambassador for OSHA, the all-in-one podcast hosting and marketing platform. On our platform, we develop great tools for podcasters to grow their podcast. If you're interested and want to learn more, we're going to offer you a free 15-day trial. Just click on the link below. In this episode of Tips, I'm going to show you how it's not only easy to get your podcast onto YouTube, but it's also important. Welcome to Tips. Tips. I know what you're thinking. YouTube is a video platform, so what does this have to do with podcasts? A lot, actually. According to the latest study from Edison Research and Ad Results Media, 20% of podcasts are listened to via YouTube, which puts it just in between Spotify and Apple Podcasts for the most popular listening platforms. So it's time to buckle up and get onto YouTube. <laughs> The first thing to know about YouTube is that it is a huge universe. According to HubSpot, there are more than 2 billion, billion monthly users on YouTube. That's a lot of people. And your goal among these millions of users is to get someone to listen to your podcast. Now, how is that even possible? I'm going to tell you. The YouTube search engine results, because the YouTube algorithm is extremely powerful. We all know the YouTube vortex where you fall down the rabbit hole of YouTube and two hours later you find yourself watching, I don't know, a pimple popping video or something. Well, why not have your podcast be the next suggested video instead of that pimple popping video? If your episodes are uploaded with the right keywords and tags, people might stumble upon your podcast on YouTube just while hanging out watching some videos. And that is super convenient. Not only that, but YouTube has some great features which can increase the engagement of your audience. And more engagement means more potential views. For example, it is much easier to leave a comment under a YouTube video than on a listening platform, some of which don't even allow you to leave comments. The comment section and the like dislike button allow you to interact more easily with your listeners, ask them questions, and get their reactions. All in all, it's a great way to get their feedback. And it's a great way to get noticed by YouTube. The more comments you get, the more your podcast will be highlighted by the YouTube algorithm. So do not forget to ask people to leave a comment on their video. And by the way, do you know you can leave a comment on this video? Okay, now I'm going to get very meta. YouTube is Google and Google is YouTube. Namaste. When you type a query or question in the Google search bar, suggestions of articles, podcasts, and videos are the first results highlighted at the top of the page, and those are called snippets. Google judges which content is the most relevant and displays it at the top of the page. If your SEO is in good order for the podcast you broadcast on YouTube, you are only increasing your chances of appearing as one of the snippets on the top of the Google search results. Ultimately, reaching more people. <laughs> For a podcast to work well on YouTube, there are still a few constraints to keep in mind. So transforming an audio podcast into a video podcast is not always easy. Also, YouTube users have an expectation about the quality of the video content produced on the platform. Whether you like it or not, your video will be in direct competition with other videos that were made specifically for YouTube. So you'll need to make sure that your videos have a certain quality level, even if it's just your little old podcast. The second thing to keep in mind is that the consumption habits of YouTube users are not the same as podcast listeners. Oftentimes, podcast listeners listen to a podcast while they're doing something else, like exercising, cooking, cleaning. We rarely see someone listening to a podcast just like sitting there looking at a blank wall doing nothing. But obviously, it's much harder watching video and doing something at the same time. Therefore, you can't just rely on audio alone to keep the attention of your YouTube audience. So I hate to break it to you, you can't just upload your audio file as is with a cover of your podcast, upload it and say, well, that's the YouTube podcast. Don't worry, I'm gonna tell you about two options. The first option is to generate a video with audio waves. And by hosting your podcast on OSHA, you will be able to automatically generate videos so that will be directly uploaded to YouTube. The tool uses all of the metadata of your podcast, like your title, your description, and your podcast cover to automatically generate and upload a video to YouTube. You just have to activate the YouTube options in the setting of your podcast, and that's it. In a few clicks, you're on YouTube with a nice video, thanks to OSHA. And not only that, you can often record video of the interview at the same time, so why not upload that to YouTube? I've already made a whole video on which software you can use and how you can record your video at the same time, so check it out if you're interested. If you're still having doubts about getting your podcast onto YouTube, just remember that it's free and it's another tool to help boost the discoverability of your podcast. If you want to learn more about how OSHA can help you grow your podcast and increase your listeners, go to our website at osha.co to discover all of the tools that we've made to make podcasters' lives easier. And please don't forget to like this video 
below. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next videos. Thanks so much. See you soon. Bye.